In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our prayer today is Romans 8, 31 to 39, and Matthew 12, 1 to 14. So this is Romans 8, 31 to 39. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own Son, but gave him up for all of us. Will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died. Yes, who was raised. Who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress or persecution or famine? or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. This is Matthew 12, 1 through 14. At that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry, and they began to pluck heads of grain and to eat. When the Pharisees saw it, they said to him, Look, Your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? He entered the house of God and ate the bread of the presence, which it was not lawful for him or his companions to eat, but only for the priests. Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath the priests in the temple break the Sabbath and yet are guiltless? I tell you, something greater than the temple is here. But if you had known what this means, I desire mercy and not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the guiltless, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. He left that place and entered their synagogue. A man was there with a withered hand, and they asked him, Is it lawful to cure on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him? He said to them, Suppose one of you has only one sheep, and it falls into a pit on the Sabbath. Will you not lay hold of it and lift it out? How much more valuable is a human being than a sheep? So it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath. Then he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and it was restored, as sound as the other. But the Pharisees went out and conspired against him how to destroy him. Gentlemen, we want to focus on the statement of St. Paul. If God is for us, who is against us? Gentlemen, this time that we are being given at home uh, through distance learning and through this coronavirus pandemic is a time to recognize that if God is for us, who is against us? Gentlemen, we have God and so we have everything. We don't need to fear. The worst thing that could happen is we could pass away. And guess what? We get to be with Jesus and all the angels and saints. So that's going to be pretty amazing, infinitely better than this life. But we know that many are sick and dying. And yet God is on their side. He is being crucified with them in the sick, in those who are stressed and anxious. He is with us and he wants to give us his peace. So I want to encourage you in this time to turn off your computers and phones for at least 15 minutes every day, to go outside, to throw a football, go for a run, do what you need to do to be away from technology, because this is an amazing time to open up to what God wants to say to you. Gentlemen, I also want to encourage you to spend time with your family uh, in a new way. Obviously, you're around them 24-7 now. But instead of just escaping into video games, to turn everything off and eat dinner together, watch one of the masses online together, do things with your siblings, try as much as possible to enjoy this time because you're going to be off to college in a very short time and you won't have time like this. This is a very sacred time. 
Know that I'm praying for you. And with that, let's take a moment of silence. <laughs> 